Everybody wants to be on a pro staff and get product in return for something. That something is value. How can an angler provide value to a company? Now that might seem like a tricky question or rocket science. I mean, it's, it's not for me because I've been around this industry and in this industry for over 20 years, but I can break it down for you real simple. There's really kind of three things that you can do to provide value for a company in the fishing industry. Now, whether it's a fishing lure company, a fishing line company, a rod company, reel company, uh, uh, let's say a scent company, uh, some kind of topical scent you can put on the lure, um, anything that's, that's a product that you are using uh, while you're fishing to catch more fish or, or even an apparel situation where you're using apparel that you might put on that you're going to use while fishing. So providing value to those types of companies really can be done kind of three different ways this is the way I see it. And not everybody fits the mold for all of them. Uh, some people do all of them and they are kind of like the unicorns. They're very special. But as long as you can provide value in one of these three ways, you can really get yourself noticed by, by somebody and provide a value to somebody that is looking for services kind of like in, in return, so to speak. Uh, number one, Number one is going to be social media is the, the biggest top of mind. Now, not everybody is an influencer. Not everybody has a huge Instagram page or YouTube page or a TikTok following or whatever social media that you want to you want to name. Uh, Facebook is definitely still very powerful as well in the social media world. But if you if you do the social media, let's say you have a, a good sized following, that can be a value if utilized correctly to a company. Uh, now that is not definitely not everything, by all means. I mean, in missile baits, let's say, we have some, some very good bomb, we call it bomb squad, bomb squad members that really are basically inactive or don't have a social media account. They provide value in other ways. But number one, it's, it's a social media, it's a content driven world we live in today. So that's gonna be number one. Number two, I'm gonna go ahead and say, if you're not an influencer, but you are an angler and you like to go fishing, is to be able to, to take, that, take that, capture that moment when you're out there on the water, maybe you're using one of uh, these, these company's products, maybe you've got a, a striker hoodie on, or you've got um, you know, Costa sunglasses on, or you've got a, a sunline, that you just cast it and you get that, that really cool spray mist coming off the, the reel and, and your buddy takes a picture or you take a picture of yourself doing that, having that cool moment featuring a product that is of very good value to a company. Uh, let's say if, if somebody catches a, a, a nine pounder on a D-bomb and they hold the fish up and the D-bomb's in the fish's mouth, somebody takes a picture of that fish we have, we have bomb squad guys that do this, take pictures of that fish and send us those pictures. That is gold for, for a company like Missile Baits to use in social media. So just because you don't have a big following doesn't mean you can't cre create something. I mean, pretty much everybody has a smartphone. Most every smartphone has a good camera nowadays. You just have to have it top of mind to say, oh, hey, you know what? I'm gonna take a picture of this real quick and then I'll send it into them later. Maybe you send two or three pics. Maybe you've got a hat on to go along with it. Um, whatever fun, interesting, if you can throw a video on top of it, your value just goes up even more. Pictures are good, videos are even better. And you don't have to be, you know, like a professional TV personality. You don't have to do anything crazy just tell the story, man. Just just tell whatever it is you're doing out there, send it in to that company. They will notice you. And if you consistently send it in, all of a sudden they're going to say, you know what, we need to do something in return for this person because, man, they are providing a lot of value for us. So that's number two. Number three is kind of like almost old school nowadays. It's It seems kind of crazy to me. Number three is almost old school and it's not for everybody, 
but it definitely still has tremendous value, and that is tournaments, winning tournaments and competing in tournaments, uh, wearing and using a certain brand clothing or, or baits. And if you basically, if you're a local hammer, hammer, you're a local stick in whatever area, like let's say, you know, either in Arkansas or Florida or Texas or uh, even here locally in Virginia, uh, we've got we got a handful of hammers in Virginia here. Uh, one of them here locally at Smith Mountain Lake, uh, Johnny Martin. Excellent pro staffer. I've gotten to know him. Just a great person. Someone that, that I really like representing uh, Missile Baits and our brand, Fishes with Chad Green. Chad is a very good person. We love him. A lot of people like him. Um, he, those, those guys do a great job representing us. They win a lot of tournaments. They wear missile baits a lot. People put that connotation together. There is a value there. And I know what Johnny uses because I see the orders that come in and what he requests for baits. So I know what he's using, but you're going to have to ask him or if he wants to tell you, he'll, he'll tell you um, or let us know to, to tell everybody exactly what he's using. But th that provides a lot of value for, for us. And then we can document his uh, tournament wins and, and other. We have a lot of, uh, of these type anglers around the country document their wins, try to, try to help them out. If they're looking to, to make a little bigger name for themselves, make some notoriety with other sponsors, we're going to try to help them get their name out there as well because it's, it, you know, it helps both of us. It helps people know that missile baits are out there winning tournaments it helps to get their name out there so other companies, maybe he's looking for a, for a boat deal or maybe he's looking for a, a fishing line deal, something like that, rod deal. He can help you know, use our notoriety. Hopefully we, we give an angler like that to be able to, uh, to get other sponsors. So provide value back in return for him providing value to us. So there are a lot of ways you can provide value. Those are really the three main ones that you may want to focus on if you're out there in the internet world watching this video and you're thinking, you know what, how can I provide value to a company in the fishing industry? That, that's the top three ways right there. Missile baits, now we evaluate pro staff and advertising every fall. We don't do it year round. Uh, we get applications all the time. We get people sending in resumes, but we do it September, October timeframe every year and then we kind of forecast what we're going to use or need for the following year. That's just really what, the way we do it here at Missile Baits. But uh, I've been associated with a lot of other companies. I mean, I've been sponsored by uh, Pradco, Pure Fishing, uh, Berkeley, uh, you, you name it, a number of different companies within the industry that I'm not currently sponsored by. Everybody has a different, little different way of doing it. But those core values uh, that you can provide to, to companies, those are, are really where it's at here in 2023 and beyond. So if you have any other questions, drop them down there in the comments. We'll do our best to try to answer those for you and uh, really try to, try to help you out as well.